We build a full-blown all-filter testing rig. We will see which filters has the best filtration, the most capacity, and more. For our first test, we want to measure how much resistance each filter makes at normal running temperature. Why should we care? Well, a more restricted oil filter will put more resistance on the oil flow, potentially reducing engine performance. To see what filter is more restrictive, we'll be taking a look at these gauges right here. The higher the difference of the pressure gauges, the more restrictive the filter. For our first contender, we have the popular Wix filter with a price of $7.42. The Wix comes in with 1.2 PSI at a float of three gallons per minute and as we increase the oil flow to 11 gallons per minute, it rises to 9 PSI. Why do we increase the flow rate for this test? Well, we just want to simulate how your car's oil flow increases as you accelerate. Our next contender is the Napa Gold, with a price of $9.99. Many out there say this is just a rebranded Wix filter. So, will they perform the same? At 3 gallons per minute, the Napa Gold comes in with 0.9 PSI, and as we increase the flow rate to 11 gallons per minute, the pressure rises to 8.3 PSI, just barely edging out the Wix filter. Next up, we have the AutoZone Exclusive, the STP Extended Life, with a price of $9.99, claiming to tech your engine for 10,000 miles. At three gallons per minute, the STP filter comes in with 1.4 PSI, and as we increase the flow rate, it clocks in at only 9.9 .9 PSI, at 11 gallons per minute. For our last contender, we have the very popular Baldwin filter. The Baldwin comes in with a price of $10.60. The Baldwin comes in with 0.9 PSI at three gallons per minute and 8.6 PSI at 11 gallons per minute. As you can see in this graph, the Napa Gold and the Baldwin barely edged out the competition, with the STP falling somewhat behind. Similar to the first test, we want to measure how much resistance each filter makes but this time during cold temperatures. Motor oil's viscosity can change drastically depending on its temperature. As the temperature drops, your motor oil will thicken substantially. To visualize, this is how liquid your motor oil is when your engine is hot. And this is how thick it becomes at 38 degrees Fahrenheit. When your oil is this thick, the pressure on your oil filter increases making your bypass valve open and allowing unfiltered oil back into your engine. Given we're not racing any penguins out here, we really have no way of performing this test at cold temperatures. Thus, just like the industry's test, we will utilize this special oil that has the same viscosity as motor oil at 38 degrees Fahrenheit. To see which filter is best when it's cold, once again, we will be looking at these gauges right here. The higher the difference of the pressure gauges, the more restrictive the filter. The Wix has a differential pressure of 13.3 PSI at 3 GPM and 39.2 PSI at 11 GPM. The Napa Gold comes in with 10.4 PSI at 3 GPM and 37.6 PSI at 11 gallons per minute. The STP oil filter has 16 PSI at 3 GPM and 38.6 at 11 GPM. And the Baldwin comes in with 5 PSI at 3 GPM and 45.1 at 11 GPM. As you can see in this graph, once again, Baldwin took the lead and the STP proved to be the most restrictive. Something to note here, we'll be basing our rankings on the exponential portion of the graph, as the linear portions are based on the friction caused by the bypass valve already being open. To test filtering performance, we pre-mixed 1.1 grams of standardized dust into a beaker of oil. After placing four batches of this mixture for a total of 4.4 grams of dust on each filter, we collected the samples, packaged them up, and sent them to the oil analysis laboratory. You may be asking, why are we using transmission fluid? Well, we aren't. Given new motor oil has contaminants in it, it could impact our testing. Thus, we decided to follow the industry standard by using AeroShell 41. This oil is manufactured to extreme cleanliness standards. While the lab comes back with those results, let's go ahead and perform our capacity test. To do this, we actually continued introducing dust until each of the filters initial differential pressure increased by 8 PSI. 
In other words, if the filter had an initial differential pressure of 3 psi, we would stop the test after it reached 11 psi. The STP had a capacity of just 4.4 grams. The Wix had a capacity of 7.26 grams. The Napa Gold was able to gather a pinch more with 7.92 grams. And the Baldwin filter comes in with an impressive 13.2 grams. So far, Baldwin has dominated in every test, but will it also be the best on filtering performance? Let's find out. After filtering 4.4 grams of dust, the Wix had 617.7 particles between 21 and 38 microns, 2.5 particles between 38 and 70 microns, and 0.1 particles above 70 microns. Remember, a grain of table salt measures about 120 microns, and a strand of human hair is approximately 70 microns in diameter. At around 40 microns, things start becoming invisible to our eyes. A white blood cell is about 25 microns in diameter, much smaller than what we can see. The Napa Gold came in with 1,103.8, 88.8, and 4.9. The STP filter had a very decent 401.1, 5, and 0.4. The Baldwin was somewhat disappointing with 2,583.3, 92.8, and 27.6. Now let's take a look inside these filters. The Napa Gold has a very thick outer casing, synthetic blend media with a metal crimp joint, an integrated bypass valve, and a silicone drain back valve. The Wix has a very thick outer casing, synthetic blend media, a silicone drain back valve, and an integrated bypass valve, similar to the Napa Gold. Comparing it to the Napa Gold, it appears it does not have the metal crimp joint, and it also has a very sloppy build construction with glue on top of the end caps. The Baldwin has a strong outer casing, synthetic blend media, a rubber drain back valve, and an integrated bypass valve. The bypass valve is metal instead of plastic or rubber. And although that might seem better, it doesn't provide a great seal and can lead to potential leaks. Lastly, the STP has a slightly thinner outer casing, silicone drain back valve, synthetic blend media, and the smallest bypass valve we've seen yet. Build construction is lacking. As you can see, there is excess glue over the end cap and filtering media. In comparison, the STP seems to be way smaller than the rest of the filters, leading to that inferior capacity numbers. Here are the final results for our ongoing oil filter showdown series. As you can see, the Baldwin did pretty well in flow restriction and capacity, but really struggled in filtering performance. The Napa Gold seems to slightly edge out the wicks. The STP, although it did average on the filtering performance, really struggled in the other tests. There's a lot of stuff from our testing methodology that we just glanced over in this video. So if you want to see more details and see how the current winner, the Pure Later Boss, stacks up, make sure to check out this video.